South America's Ecuador has one of the highest concentrations of species on the planet. Heat, water, and geography collide to create an explosion of life. Jungle animals and alpine creatures mix. The smallest camel on Earth. A strange mountain loner. A curious bear that doesn't hibernate. And a mouse that catches fish. All resulting from a mountain range that crosses the equator. Positioned where it is, Ecuador is well named. It means equator in Spanish. Its mainland is a place of incredible contrasts due to the Andes mountain range that divides it. This has created an unusual mix of tropical jungles, alpine forests and high grasslands, which are home to a diverse group of animals. On its upper slopes, life is a struggle. With extreme solar radiation, combined with searingly cold night temperatures, Life in all forms is scant here. In some ways, it's a high-altitude desert, which might explain why this creature thrives here. The Vicuña, a member of the camel family. At only around three feet to the shoulder, the vicuña is the smallest of the camelids. And today is a special day for this herd. A newborn, its coat still bearing the remains of the afterbirth. This female gave birth during the day the freeze of the night would probably have spelt the end for her newborn. Remarkably, it can stand up and follow the herd after only 30 minutes and run after only an hour. He is supremely adapted to deal with the challenges of the Andes. His coat, the finest of all wools, has evolved to keep the camelids warm in the frigid mountain air. The dominant male watches over his big herd of females and this year's young. He's alert for danger. Living up here sacrifices the more abundant food resources of the forests that exist at lower altitudes. There is one big advantage to living here. There's little cover for a stealthy predator, like a puma, which are rare at this elevation. Still, vicuñas are skittish. A young hawk may be hoping to scavenge after birth. It's no threat to the herd, and the dominant male is more concerned with marking his territory. <laughs> 